apologize for the mess. My bad, bro. Let me fix that real quick. It's currently 8 p.m. in the morning. I didn't sleep last night because I wanted to play video games like a fucking idiot. That's what I am. And now I'm paying the price. I wanted to record this video real quick in order to remain a little bit productive, a little bit creative by re-invoking my talking extrovert, extrovert personality. You know, a good saying that I hear often is that the loudest person in the room is often loneliest. And usually I am that loudest person in the room. And I do it, I have to admit, there are times, not now, surprisingly not now, but there are times where I sit and think to myself, like, holy shit, I'm lonely. Like, holy shit. There's not really anyone I can just talk to out of the blue. And there's not really I can feel like I can talk out of the blue. Despite having so many friends, these people become mere acquaintances more than anything else. And the line between friends and acquaintances is immensely, immensely blurred, especially especially the fact that I have so many people I could just could talk to out of the blue, but you could just say that they're acquaintances. Like, what would I consider a friend? Someone I could confide in, someone I could, you know, tell my secrets to, someone I could trust. So like I could, I could eat a thing, always talk to, we always talk, like, at least semi-regularly, I mean, like, three times a week, that's it, with a friend. Best friend is, like, closer, we talk all the time, and do everything, not do everything together, that's like a fucking partner at this point. <laughs> we do a lot of things together, female, female, ideally. Female friends are, like, unless she's actually tired, <laughs> no, i If we have really good synergy, and we're friends, like as sooner or later, it becomes it becomes very very personal, romantic perhaps between us. And in that notion, it never works. That's just pure friendship because opposites attract. Right? I could like it's sad to say, but I, I really couldn't name a singular person. Like off the top of my head, I could say a bunch of names, but I couldn't really name a single person that I could really constitute as a friend. As people who call you call your boy, like, yeah, that's my boy, that's my guy. But are they really your guy? Shit hits the fan. Do you think you really could count them? Do you think you really could count them? Could you leave your bank card and your girlfriend next to them for a week and nothing would happen? It's it's one of those things where like God I have to fucking admit, damn the fucking man. And it's annoying being lonely because you know network is net worth and connections are very very powerful. And the fact remains that I'm actually not as lonely as I think I am. There's a lot of individuals that are willing to talk to me on the whim, and I have a lot of work to do, and I have a lot of people to talk to as well. But then these are probably like work friends, mentors, teachers, colleagues, co-workers. They aren't friends per se. Guys often can have. Mm, Oh, oh, for a good laying down. Oh, for a good laying down. It's much fun, my friend. And thank you again. Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm very tired already. That is often. They can get into like really close, close friendships really soon. Like, a lot of the guys that I know, that I know for like, I, I grab their number real quick just to say hi and stuff. But. A lot of guys I know that like, we talk for a bit for a good while, and then after a while it just just cuts. It goes it goes cold turkey. Everything. I think I have to go like cold turkey with video games and cold turkey with a lot of people as well. There is like a benefit to being amicable with everyone, but there is a lot of effort required in being amicable with everyone, and I think that I'm not really necessarily prepared to take that effort in order to be amicable with everyone, considering the fact that I have so many people on my phone, considering the fact that I don't really care enough in order to do so. Sorry for the little word blabber right there. It wasn't my intention. Just the way I talk. Quite a warm. I know I could be sometimes. For that I apologize. It's just me saying that it requires a lot of brain power just to say hi and how are you to everyone. 
when there was just so much of everyone. There was just so much people, all different, all different walks of life. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. What's five hundred times two thousand? It's one million. Hey Siri. What's fifty times twenty thousand? The answer is one million. Okay. Fifty times twenty thousand. If you have fifty people in your phone book that are making twenty grand a year plus you have a million dollar phone book per year and um, that is raw untapped potential for people people are, are the biggest currency by far interesting 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 world now at some point you reach like you see events and like it's gonna tie in with the loneliness thing and the people thing but because this, this video is about people effectively Oh, I'm so lonely, I feel sorry for me, yeah. It just is what it is, boys. I could be less lonely by socializing more. But I feel, not even I feel like, I feel like the merch. I know that the more I spend time with people, the less likely I am going to be to work towards my goals proactively, consistently. That kind of just hurts me in my heart. What for me, like at the moment, I really, really prioritize work, and I know that entrepreneurship and all this kind of thing can be lonely all the time. But fuck it, bro. I'd much rather be lonely than and be rich and working towards my goals and striving towards greatness than than partying and training tomorrow for today. I would rather trade today for tomorrow. I can, I'll still party one day. I'm not entirely against partying. I really like that super disciplined mindset though, that David Goggins, I'm not a bitch mindset though, because that's all I feel like I really, really need in life. I need to be shouted at, I need to be fucking told the truth, the cold hard truth. It's warm lies are simply that, warm lies. You'll confide with them in a bit, but warmth always fizzes out, the cold hard truth remains the cold hard truth. You can only be warm again, only if you change the truth. The truth could be right now that you're very, very overweight and you're fat and you're depressed and you look in the mirror and then you can't even see your dick when you look down. That was me. That's the truth. That was the truth. That was the truth. Now it's a lie. Now it's a cold lie because it's not true anymore. I can't see my dick when I look down. I lost all that weight. I shed it 20 kilograms. That's like 50 pounds, 60 pounds. I shed it that amount of weight. It was my fault. I changed the truth. The truth that could be that you're broke. The truth could be that you're tall. That could be short. Just cut your legs. Fucking morbid say, don't cut your legs, please. <laughs> morbid say, but it's true. The truth could be that you're short. Okay, cut your legs. Put a metal rod in between them. Let them grow. Now you're tall. The truth is ambiguous. The truth is what you make it. Truth is not purely, purely objective, it's subjective, and it changes often. Wait, if you say objective, as in, mm, objective changes as well. The truth is, at the moment, that I'm very lonely. My life is a reflection of my choice so far, a reflection of that. The gaming, six, seven hour gaming session is a reflection of that. It's my fault. Don't feel sorry for me. I'll, I'll have a bunch of friends around me uh, in a bit. But then again, I'll probably feel empty and vacant around them as well. It's still very annoying. And like the school paradigm for me. Like outside of school, I felt very, very anxious, depressed, nervous for the future. Inside of school, I felt very anxious, depressed, and nervous for the future. No change, nothing. School, I was doing bullshit work outside of school. Um, seeing myself do bullshit work, and I hate it. But then I get the opportunity to do real shit, real work, and then I just don't do it, and I procrastinate it, and I look at the task, and I'm like, oh, like, what the fuck? 
and I admit we'll probably need to help me a lot. But it helps you reorganize my thoughts and vent out and voice my opinions and see what it's like. Get like I can just hear myself. That's what people other people hear. I'm slowly getting used to how other people hear me. I don't really have to uncomfortable my own voice anymore and I feel that's a very, very powerful thing. Being okay with yourself, being okay with your identity. There's nothing more powerful than that. Nothing more happy, happiness inducing than that. You know, in five years, when I'm 22 years old, I'll be a multi-millionaire, I'll have all my friends around me, I'll have a sick girlfriend who's really, really cute, She has, she's just like my Warframe character, she has like short hair and everything. She doesn't have to be like, she doesn't have to have like massive tits or massive heart or anything. But like she has a moderate amount, a normal amount, and for the most part, she has a good personality. I mean, she has to be cute in the face, obviously. But my, yeah, as you can tell, like my standard for cute in the face isn't that high. Like a, set, a six, seven out of ten to other people would be like just six out of seven, ten. To me, it's like, whoa, you're cute. I could see myself spending the rest of my life with you. <laughs> A cat trying to come in my door. Man in the wall, Warframe. That's in five years, I have a cute girlfriend. Maybe I'll marry her. I'm already th I'm thinking about the character, my Warframe character in my head. What the fuck is that? Well, the character doesn't exist. I mean, a lookalike exists somewhere in the world. But who knows, she looks and sounds and behaves just like that. And who knows, she wouldn't like me in the first place. This is my room, right? The light, it's still bright outside. It's crazy. Everything's my fault, but it will always be my fault that I have a good life. Catch you.